Hello there and welcome to another one of my videos. So probably about a year ago now, this time last winter, you'll probably remember I did a video of a uh, blowing, putting some air down like the water pipes to, uh, you know, let all the let all the water go so that there's air in there to stop all the water pipes from freezing. So I thought there's got to be an easier way of doing this by not having to stick the airline on, you know, try and hold it on the end of the water pipe to blow it down. So I'm, I'm making something and I want to I show everybody and let me know what you think in the comments. So here it is. So what we have, we've got two ball valves with a couple of bits on them, just here. So this will be mains water in through here. And then this will be mains water out. So it'll always continue running like it usually would. Then this tap will go on here. I could also do with a regulator for the air, but I haven't got one yet. So I'll probably get one at some point. And this tractor fitting, Susie or whatever you want to call it, will go on there like that. Or if you don't want to run it off the back of a tractor, putting the air on it, got this bit that will be a compressor fitting that can go straight in there instead. So we'll screw all this together. So we'll probably want some PTFE tape around these bits as well to stop it from leaking, but let's just see if it works first. So we'll screw that bit in there, like so. So what this will do, this will turn the air on and off. So if we don't want, well, hopefully I'll get a regulator in between here, but at the moment I'll just be able to go like that with the tap, just to let as much air in as possible. These are just bog standard ball valves. And we'll stick this on here like that. Screw that on. So this is what we have. Like I say, I'm not gonna use that, but I might need to use it. So I'll keep that in case I ever do need to use it. And this is what we have. So like I said before, mains water will come from that side, sorry, because this is the tap that we use to turn the mains off. So mains water will always flow through here. And this is just basically a T-piece and I've turned it off so that this ain't always full of water. Mains water outlet. So what we want to do, we'll, we'll turn the mains water off like that to stop all the water. That will stop the water coming through. So then this is, this is full of pressurized water and then this won't be pressurized. And then we'll plug this into the back of the tractor or to any sort of air source you may have to obviously blow it out. And then we're just going to open that tap, which will then blow all the water out. And like I said before, if there's no water in the pipes, it can't freeze. So yeah, let's go and put this on. You'll be able to put this anywhere on a system, but I'm just going to go and cut a bit of pipe and crimp some ends on um, down, down uh, near the cows. And I want to see if, you know, see if it works, but I'm sure it will. So we've cut a bit out of the blue mains water pipe. I've just put it here, so you, but you can do it wherever you want. You could do it on the mains in, but I'm just doing it here to show you. So yeah, cut it, turn the water off, cut it in half, and then we've crimped these fittings on like that, or you could do it with a plastic push fit or whatever you want to do. So we'll put that other bit on now. So we'll screw it on now. That's it, screw that on there. Like that. Very simple and easy to do. That screwed on, put one on there. We've just pulled this bit of water pipe out here like this, but you know, usually it'd be all insulated and everything. But we're just, uh, I'm just doing it to show everybody so we can uh, see if it works. It'll feed these troughs here like that one just there. And there's one on the other side. push that there I'm gonna to have to turn these taps around a bit but this will sit here like so this will sit here like this so then what we'll do because the mains water comes up there so you'll be able to turn the mains water off we'll plug the air onto the tractor and then whilst this is pressurized we'll then blow all the water out like that so yeah now we're gonna back the tractor up and plug this airline so it goes into here like this so air's plugged into the back of the tractor on here, and we're now gonna put that onto there like that. So shove that on. Is it going on? Is it tight? It's brand, 
Oh, there we go. So now we should be, oh, we've got a little air leak. Oh, there we go. So we should be able to turn this on, but I do need to put a uh, pressure regulator on here. We'll turn it on, then we're gonna go and have a look at the water trough and see if it blows all the water out. I can hear the air going in the pipe. So that's up to pressure now. So hopefully we'll go and lift the ball valve in the water trough and then it'll all start blowing out. So it's just started blowing the water through at the moment. And hopefully when all the water's through in a few seconds, it'll be, uh, it'll start, we'll start getting air come through. So the tractor's over there. It's got the airline plugged in with a tap on half. So the air should come through any minute. Like, Oh, there we go, the air's starting to come through. There we are, you can hear the air coming out, that is empty. So we'll just go and do the other one now as well. So we'll leave that, I'll leave it slightly on like that. It ain't gonna take long to drain the tractor air tank, but I'll leave it overnight just to make sure all the water is blown out. So, cause it can't freeze if there ain't no water in it. So yeah. So there we have it. We've got a few little modifications to do. We have got to get a pressure regulator and we've obviously got to clip it up to the wall and leave it outside and probably insulate the pipe as well. And I'm probably going to put it in a different position because we want to put it sort of where the mains inlet comes into the yard so that we can blow the whole system out so nothing can freeze at all. I'll just put it over there just to show everybody how it works and it's worked fantastically well. Very, very simple, very, very, very cheap to do. So yeah, very pleased with it. So got a new clock as well. Very pleased with that as well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. You know, I think it's a pretty good idea. So see you again soon. Cheers.